In this video, you will learn the step-by-step -step process of Contact Form 7 WordPress plugin. After following this complete plugin tutorial you will be able to make almost any type of contact form or survey questions. This Contact Form 7 is the most popular and widely used form plugin for WordPress users. You see this is being used by more than 5 million users. The primary reason for the popularity of the plugin is its easiness. The setting is so simple. So, this time we will make a contact form on this website. We will do this manually. Also at the end of the video, we will share some ready-made templates of contact forms for more professionalism. Just keep watching. So, come back to the contact page of our website. You see here that, this contact page is blank. To make a contact form, first, we need to install a contact form plugin. Let's install this. If you click on the popular section, you will find this Contact Form 7 plugin first. Install and activate it. After activating, a new contact menu will be added here. Click on it. A default contact form is already created here. Click on Edit. In this default form, they created the name, email, subject, etc. Let's set this as our contact form to understand it easily. Here you will see a short code. Just copy it. Go to the contact page. And edit this. Paste the shortcode in this box, and click on Update. By the way, if you are using Gutenberg Editor, then this method might be a little different. Suppose this is the place where you want to place the contact form. Just go to the Edit page. Click on the plus button. And search shortcode. Now paste the shortcode here. Then click Update. Let's check the page. See, a default contact form is here. This is not so good, we will customize this soon. Let's go back to our original website. Our code was saved here, let's view the form. See, it is visible now. It has four boxes. It also includes a submit button. Actually, this has some minimum required boxes. Now we will customize it. Let's edit this text randomly. and save it. And reload this page. Look, this has changed. For text editing, follow this method. But what if you want to add a new box here? Just copy a label, and make a duplicate. Select and remove this part. Suppose you want to make a drop down option, then click on drop down. Write down the menu options one by one per line. You can allow this if you want your visitor to choose multiple options. Also, you can choose this field as a required field. To submit this contact form, the visitor must fill this up. Now click on insert tag. Immediately the code will be added here. Now change the field name. Set anything. Let us check if it works. Save it first.
Refresh the contact page. Yes, the drop down box is added. But here you see by default an option is chosen here. This may create confusion. Let's solve this. When you create the drop down menu, just enable this small option. Yes, it is solved. To create a more customizable form, you can easily test these options risk-free. After completing the contact form interface, now we will edit the email sending and receiving settings. This is the box for receiving the email. Here it says site admin email. If you go to the general settings, then you will see an email that is set as an admin email. This is that site admin email. If someone fills up the contact form, you will receive it in this email. Also, you can set up any different email here as you wish. Now we will check the contact form and submit one. Let us see whether it works. Let me submit a random form. After successfully submitting, they are showing a message here. You can change these types of messages from this message setting. Look, here they are saying that if the message is sent successfully, then this response will be shown. You can customize this message too. Next time someone sends a message through the contact form, he will see the newly customized message here. So, let's check our email. We may receive the message that we sent just now. If you don't see the message in your inbox, you can also check that in your spam or all mailbox. Here we received. Look, the structured email is here. All the information is given here. You can also modify the email receiving template. Like, if you want to see the message sender's email in a different line, then follow this. Save this. Let's resend a message. After a few minutes, the email arrived. Look, this is the new email format we just created a few minutes ago. So, manual contact form making is done. This time we will show you some pre-built contact form demos. This web page link is given in the description. Just go there and you will see many codes of contact forms. Let's copy this code and paste this to our contact form editor.
Look, that interface has changed. You can browse other codes too. Such as, I want to use that. As we did previously, just copy and paste the code on the contact form editor. By default, these options appeared. You can edit that by using a simple way. Just go to the editor box and change the text of any option. Such as I am using a mobile brand name. Also, I will change the color name too. And if you think that you want to remove a particular part of the template, then just remove that line. After saving, check the view. All the changes are applied. But when you submit a new contact form, you must change the email template too. You will understand it better when you submit a form. Let's do it. The email arrived. Look, the subject and the email body are not showing fine. No submitted data reached here. Because the email template is set in the old version. Let's update this with new data. Here they are showing some new fields we added to our contact form. You have to use these fields to email message body. Just copy one. And create a message line like this. Then copy the next fields and do the same. This design is totally up to your choice. Then save it. After saving, I see there is a bold field here. Which means this is unused here. That's how you can identify unused fields. Let's use this. Also, you should change the subject, because in the email section it's showing like this. Choose a custom subject title. Save this. Let's submit this form again. Yes, the email is reached and the message body is excellent. All the information is available here. So, this is all about Contact Form 7 WordPress plugin customization tutorial for you. If you have any questions then feel free to ask me in the comment section.